Hi, I'm Candace. I am a radio DJ and a new mom, and I am shopping for a compact SUV today. We're here at Rusnak, and they are gonna let me drive my top three faves all today. So let's go. Pierce from Rusnak. Good to meet you. Good to meet you. So uh, today we're gonna be taking a peek at the all new 2018 Jaguar E-Pace. Okay. The 2018 Porsche Macan. And we also have a 2018 BMW X3. All of them are gonna be around the same size. Um, they're all mid mid-size compact SUVs around the same storage space. So uh, first impressions, what do you think? Uh, this is gonna be a really hard choice because they're all beautiful. So you ready to take a look inside? Yeah, let's do it. I like this. Yeah. I mean, it's way sportier inside than I thought it would be. It's actually really comfortable. I like the comfort of the steering wheel for sure. So uh, as you can see, we have a uh, very sporty styling inside the E-Pace. It's taking a lot of design cues from the uh, Jaguar F-Type. So that's why it's, it's very aggressive looking in the interior of this E-Pace. Aggressive is definitely my style, so I like this. The suspension in this one feels really good. I do like the braking. It's sort of my style and the turning radius is really nice, which is good for in the city when you're driving. I really like the size of this one. I feel comfortable with parking wherever I am, a lot of compact spaces or parallel spots. I've actually driven a Jaguar in the past and this feels redefined. It doesn't feel like your old school Jag. It sounds cliche, but nothing smells as good as a Porsche. I'm just saying. <laughs> I feel like there's a lot of options with this car. Um, super sporty. Okay, this one feels like I'm driving a sports car, but it's super comfortable, which I like. All right, let's try sport mode. Definitely like that. Accelerates pretty quick. I do really like the way this car sounds. Got a really nice exhaust note. Out of all the, the three SUVs we have here today, this one is probably the most rugged looking on the exterior. The interior is very luxurious. So these wood inlays, um, like you said, the tech. We have a whole digital display with the, the gauges in front of you. I can't help but notice how big that screen is, which I really love because I like to have nav and music and everything all in the same place. So I definitely like that. Sporty, but luxurious. So I feel like this one might be slightly bigger, but I feel like that might be exactly what I need just with the baby now and all of his gear. This just feels right. I really like that it has so many driving modes. I can go off-roading. It's got downhill assist. There's so many options for wherever I'm driving. So I really like the Jag. I feel like the drivability of that is really good in the city. Uh, parking, it seems like it's not going to be as stressful. It's very luxurious and sporty. Um, I do like the Macan. I typically drive a two-door sports car. Now that I'm a mom, that doesn't really work. So the Macan is sort of a little bit of both for me. Uh, but I'm kind of leaning towards the BMW. The size is perfect now that I have a baby and all of his stuff. It's still very sporty, but also luxurious. It just seems to really fit my lifestyle. So thanks to Russ and I for this amazing experience uh, driving all of these SUVs and helping me find my next car. Russnack, your road awaits.